Welcome back. We're joined by Corey Signer from Fisherman's Market. It's great to have you back on the show. Uh, thanks for having me again. You're very welcome. We're doing some cooking today. Sable fish, something that maybe some people in our audience haven't tried before. I think it brings a bell to me that I've had it, but I can't tell you when it was. Sable fish is uh, a, a little less common than your halibut or something off the West Coast, but it's a West Coast line caught fish. It's extremely high in omega 3s. It's wonderful. It's usually reserved for higher end restaurants, but it's a staple at the Fisherman's Market. We've got some uh, amazing ties to that industry and the quality of product we get is unbelievable. So where is the sable fish coming from? Uh, it's all coming uh, usually out of like the Queen Charlotte's, Hecate's Drakes kind of areas like that. Um, summer short boats, summer day boats, comes in fresh. It's also a frozen right on the boat kind of fish. Uh, so it is available year round. Uh, it's unbelievable, very high in omega-3s, extremely healthy. And uh, March is gonna be sable fish month at the Fisherman's Market. Uh, we do a whole fish sale, we cut it, we fillet it. Uh, you can see here on your camera, and I'm just gonna move this here a little bit, sorry. Uh, the white one here is a plain, uh, just this is how sable fish regularly looks. It is uh, a nice bone white product. It's got a, uh, a black skin there that you can see. It's a very beautiful fish. Uh, and then the one right behind it is one that we've marinated. And we're going to get this down in the pan because I know we're, we've got to do this quick, quick, quick here. So we are going to get our marinated sable fish down in the pan. So today we're doing a pan seared sable fish and we're gonna make a miso, uh, miso sake and maple marinade for it. So this one's already marinated for 24 hours. Uh, the marinade is extremely easy to make. Uh, we'll go through that right now. Uh, we take a third of a cup of our sake, uh, which is a fantastic drink just outside of having it. If you don't have sake and you still wanna make this, uh, apple cider vinegar would probably be a, a very reasonable substitute. We've got a third of a cup of beautiful dark maple syrup. Uh, avoid Aunt Jemima's if you can, it's a fantastic product, but if you can get the real stuff, uh, it'll do a little bit further for you. And then the third is a, a third of a cup of miso paste. Um, miso paste is a thicker product, it's tougher to use, you kinda gotta blend it. Uh, at the shops we carry a miso gravy. Uh, it's done by NAMS, it's a phenomenal product. Uh, it's gonna be on special all month as well. And I used a third of a cup of that and the end result is absolutely amazing. So all we do is we mix this just give it a little mix here, and we have our marinade. And how long do you let it sit in that? A little bit of soy sauce. Uh, you know, usually with sable fish, it picks up the flavors really, really well. Uh, you'd like to get this in the marinade for 12 to 24 hours, and uh, the flavor and the smell is just amazing from this. And we're actually gonna use this marinade to make a sauce as well uh, for our sable fish as soon as it's done cooking here. How do you know when it's done? It's always hard to know, I think, when you're cooking with the uh, fish. It's hard to know. So the nice thing about sable fish, you cannot overcook it. The amount of omega-3s in this fish are unbelievable. Uh, it will melt in your mouth every time. Uh, so basically, we've already got some nice uh, pan sear on here. This fish we're gonna pull off pretty quickly. Um, but again, it's gonna take longer to cook than we have on the show. Uh, it's gonna be about four minutes aside, eight minutes total cooking time. Again, you cannot overcook this fish. It's perfect for barbecues. Okay. If you're not a great chef, it's perfect every time. How does it compare to something like halibut, for example? Well, halibut's a leaner fish, um, whereas sable fish, again, with the oil and the fat content, it is just amazing. Like, you could cook this at 400 degrees for an hour and it would still melt in your mouth. That's so it's awesome. a great option. Uh, it's a very mild flavored fish as well. Uh, so we're looking good here, and we've got a nice crispy skin. So we're going to pull off our sable fish, and we're going to put it on our plate here. No need to rush. We still have a solid two and a half minutes. Excellent. So, well, yeah. we're going to make a sauce for this next. Okay. So in our hot pan, we're going to take our marinade that the fish had come out of, and we're going to use it. It's got all the nice flavor of the fish and juice in there. And we're going to add in a bunch of that. It we're gonna smells get that. Great. It, it does. It smells really good. It's <laughs> it really a sake does. too. Uh, so we are gonna reduce this sauce. Uh, again, that's another fancy word. So uh, it's very easy. Just put your sauce on high heat, and you're gonna see a bunch of steam come up, and that's the vapor. Uh, you know, the the liquid dissolving. It's gonna yes. thicken our sauce. And the sake is really the key with this. I find um, sable fish is really big in the international market. Most of it goes to Japan. Uh, so it's relatively unknown here, even in BC, although it's a, a local caught fish. Um, my partner, his family grew up in the sable fish industry. This is where they made their claim to fame. Uh, so again, we get this product direct off the boat. Uh, the quality of product that you get when you come into our stores is unbelievable. And we can see our sauce is thickening nicely here. Corey started out as a fisherman, and he used to be the guy on the boats doing all the capturing of the fish and catching them. Do you ever think he'd show up on a cooking show like this? No. Um, <laughs> and thankfully, in all honesty, both of my partners commercially fished. 
Uh, my family was all dock workers and stuff. They unloaded yeah. all the boats. Thankfully, I was a little bit, uh, I was a little bit uh, too young for the fishing industry and kind of falling apart. Okay. So I went into distribution. So I got to sell all the fish. So I was the salesman <laughs> of the crew. And here he is cooking on midday. I all love right. it. We've got some absolutely great reduction going on. We're going to add a little bit of butter to this to emulsify it, thicken it up a little bit. So we're going in with our butter. It smells so good. I can't tell you. For the yeah, viewers at home, it is just, this is a great marinade. This is a great, I, um, just three ingredients. and it's, it's super simple. And when you watch something like this, you watch me do this. If I can do this, anyone can do this. This is a, a six minute meal. I am not a professional chef. I'm not trained in any but way. But you know your seafood. You know your way around seafood. I know seafood. Now. And it's, yeah. uh, a lot of people are really worried about having it perfect. Look at the picture there. It looks fantastic. I cooked that. You can do it too at home. <laughs> so we've, uh, we've emulsified our sauce. We've thickened this up here, and we're going to grab a little spoonful of it, and uh, again. So marinated in it, and then warmed up, and made again, and right over the top. That's it right there, and there's your, uh, there's your West Coast line cod sable fish. Uh, we've got that with a sake, miso, and well, Canadian maple syrup, obviously. Um, this is a recipe that we have on our website. We're going to have this recipe in our stores on recipe cards as well. Uh, www.thefishermansmarket.ca. You guys can come by anytime. Come check out the sale. It's going to be absolutely amazing. And you can't overcook this fish. You can't hurt it. It's, fa it's fantastic. Best fish in the world. Awesome. Corey, you are just a natural in the kitchen. Thank you I for being here. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. We're going to take a quick break. If you're interested, though, thefishermansmarket.ca. They have all kinds of great deals going on right here in Camels. We're back in 90 seconds. Stay with us.